Hello everyone. It's Meredith. I don't know why I did that. That wasn't cute. This is going to be another vlog in my series where I read hype books and I see whether I think they're worth the hype. That's just subjective. That's just my opinion. So please don't be offended by it. And if I say it's worth hype or I think it's not, it's like, it doesn't actually matter. I just say this so people don't come for me. But like my videos get like no views, so no one's probably going to come for me. But anyway, just in case, I have actually already filmed this vlog. I finished this book a few days ago, which was The Love Hypothesis. Since I'm all tabbed up, I have finished this. I seem to have a habit of doing this thing where I start a vlog and I'm like, I look really ugly in this clip. So I'm going to film the opening <laughs> to this vlog on a day where I look better. And then I just forget or I never look better. And then I get to editing the vlog and I'm like, okay, where's the opening clip? And I realized there is one. So I'm about to edit this and I realized I didn't have an opening clip, which I don't really think it needs one. I'm literally just reading this book, but you know, here it is. Here's the, here's the uh, intro and now no one's going to watch it because this intro sucks. <laughs> but if you continue to watch, thank you. And yeah, I'm going to be talking about and reading The Love Hypothesis. I don't know if I talk about what this book's about, so I'll just talk about it now in case I don't. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's a very popular book. And as this lovely sticker that I cannot remove says, it is a TikTok, what's it say? Sensation. Ew. So yeah, it's very popular and it's a fake dating romance set in a like STEM lab. The main character is doing her... PhD? Yeah, she's a, th oh, she's a third year PhD candidate. And she has a friend who has a crush on her ex, who she didn't really ever seriously date, she just went on some dates with, and her friend doesn't want to date him because she doesn't want to hurt the main character's feelings with the main character. Olive is her name. She's like, I'm not interested in him, like, go for it, but a friend won't do it. And so she pretends that she has a boyfriend, and she's like, oh, I'm going out on a date, going out on a hot date. Please stop talking. And so her friend will go out with this other guy because she's like, oh, you've got a man. So like, yeah. But she goes back to work and her friend's there and she's like, holy shit, my friend's going to see me and I'm lying. So she kisses the first person she sees, which is a uh, professor. I don't know any of the titles of these people. I'm so dumb. <laughs> What even is university? So yeah, she ends up kissing him and he's this grumpy professor and he decides to be like, we should fake date because he finds out what her predicament is and he's like, well, I'm not getting the funding for you know my research projects because the university thinks that I'm gonna up and leave because I've got no roots here. Because he's very smart and well known in the like science field, he does get a lot of propositions from other universities and studies and stuff. He wants to fake date her so he can prove, hey, I'm gonna put my roots here because I'm rooting this chick. What a banger joke! Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just... <laughs> yeah, I have started the love hypothesis. I'm on page 104. So I've got thoughts. Better watch your mouth, old man. I'm not loving this so far. I don't hate it. I just, here's the thing. I struggle with fake dating. It's not one of my favorite tropes. And often it just ends up leaving me feeling a little bit lukewarm, mediocre. It's just not a favorite trope of mine. So I feel like if I'm going to love it, it has to like fit my specific, I don't know, needs, requirements, desires, likes in romance. So this isn't doing it for me so far, but I do know that I've heard other people say in the past that the start is a little bit hard to get into and it does pick up. And I think once they start to actually like kind of have romantic feelings, I'm going to be a bit like, ah! but I think just the setup has just been ridiculous and I'm just not buying it. I think that's a lot of my problem with fake dating is it's just stupid. And I, and I just, I just think like there are a million things surely you could do that are more productive and better for you than fake dating. Also, the way that this one starts is ridiculous. Like the whole she just kissed a random person is silly. And I'm just like, nobody would do that. And I'm sorry, but the guy would not react the way that he did unless he's been like harboring a crush on her for a long time. And there is this scene at the start of the book where this guy like comforts her when she's like applying for the PhD or something, whatever. And it's obviously this guy. And so maybe he's had a crush on her since then? I don't know, but I'm just like, I feel like if some random person kissed me, I wouldn't just like kind of kiss them back. I'd probably freak the fuck out. Like, a lot. Especially because he doesn't come across like the kind of guy that like would like that. It just, it didn't fit his character. So I'm assuming he's had a crush on her or something. But 
even just her doing that, I'm just like, and if you were lying about that, why would you then go somewhere that there's a high chance the person you're lying to would be? It just, the, the whole setup of this is stupid in my head. And like, because this started out as fan fiction, it makes sense. Cause like, it's a fan fiction, like just do whatever the hell you want. But this is like a published book. So I'm like, this is just silly. I don't buy it. I think it's stupid. And because of that, I'm not enjoying the start. But again, I think once the romance actually begins, I'm going to be happier with the process. This also has kind of a lot of elements of being a PhD student in science and what that's like, particularly as a woman. And I think that that's really interesting. I quite enjoy that discussion. It's a really cool setting. Like, I will give it that. I really like reading about a romance in this kind of place but I just yeah I just think the setup is stupid and I don't buy it. I also don't love the love interest so far. I really like the main character but the love interest isn't working for me especially because it's basically Adam Driver. All I can picture is Adam Driver and I'm just like please get out of my head. <laughs> but yeah I like the main character. She's she's spunky, she's silly and like it, it kind of fits her character have, to have done something stupid like that as ridiculous as it is at least I'm kind of like okay I can, f I can kind of buy it a little bit but I don't buy the guy's reaction again unless he's like had a crush on her but even then anyway it's a romance book I don't know why I'm taking it so seriously <laughs> I like I read some ridiculous stuff so I really should just stop talking because anyone can probably just be like yeah but you enjoyed this book that is absolutely ridiculous and I'll be like oh yeah this far through so i'm on page 218 so i've read a fair bit today and <sighs> you know my favorite thing about the movie is like it feels like a like a movie i hate to be that person that doesn't like a popular book but i'm gonna be that oh my god anyway what was i saying yeah i'm not I'm not loving it and I feel really really bad like that is maybe I should turn the light on in this room does that change anything probably not I don't think so <laughs> I was like I feel like the more I read the like more it'll pick up for me and will actually start to kind of work for me um and it's not I think actually my main problem and the reason I'm not really like into the romance is the way that the guy's written Adam Oh my god. Can you see? Silly! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. Dilly! He's, yeah, he's just boring as shit. Like, he has, like, no personality. I don't even know how he's gotten through life because he's so boring. How does he not just get bored of himself? Sick burn. Like, I get that she's writing, like, a quiet guy that doesn't have many, like, emotions or, like, keeps the emotions to himself. Like, I imagine he's about to explode and, like, profess his undying love for her, which will be fun, I suppose. But, like, the process of getting there has been so dull. Like, every now and then, there'll be, like, a bit of emotion shown in him. But I just, I just don't care because I'm like, yeah, but he's so boring. Like... He overheard her saying that she likes him, but she was like, oh, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about someone else. And he is just like, oh, okay. And then he's just like, shows like a second, a hint of annoyance. And then he just like goes back to being like deadpan. And I'm just like, this guy is so boring. And also 
because we get so little from him, I just don't care when we get something because I'm like, you haven't written anything to make me intrigued and interested in this guy and her having like a relationship with him because he's so boring. And like, I feel like the way that these little things he's doing are written are just really basic and it's not really like integrated into the story in a, what's the word? Like realistic or seamless way like it feels very intentional like look here look 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 he's annoyed but he's gonna hide it and it's just like well can he not because it's really boring when he just hides everything like I feel like this would be better if we got his perspective because this is just her perspective and it's all her and we're getting like nothing from him but I will say like I don't really jive with a lot of these traditionally published like illustrated cover romances like I was really shocked that I gave Chloe Brown five stars because I just was like I just don't seem to like these but that one really worked for me for some reason but this is just like I don't know they're just I feel like they're written in a way that doesn't work for me like I think the thing is that like there's a lot of internal dialogue and I feel like it means that so much of the romance is just told to us and I don't really jive with that I want more like showing so there's all of these passages of her just talking and telling us her feelings. And like when she had the moment where she was like, ooh, I'm falling for him. I'm sort of like, really? Because I don't, I don't feel like you are. Yeah, like I feel like you're attracted to him and you're shocked that you're attracted to him because you're not attracted to many people. But I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's it, her style of writing just doesn't work for me. I need a little bit more like showing us these things. So yeah, I just don't care. Now she wants to leave the room. Tilly, you're making this very hard for your mommy. Come here, come hang out with mommy. You can't tell a cat anything. I don't know why I'm even pretending that for a second I can tell her what to do because she's a cat, so there's, there's no way. <laughs> why don't you come say hi? Ugh. Do you like your new home? Do you like your new home, Tilly? Hmm? Is it good? You're my pretty girl, aren't you? You're my pretty girl. Now I can't remember what I was talking about. Probably just shitting on this book. <laughs> it's no shame. I feel like this will get less boring because apparently in the sex scene he puts her whole boob in his mouth. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. So the only thing I've literally got to look forward to in this goddamn book is him putting a whole boob in his mouth, which God help us all if that's all I've got to look forward to. <laughs> I look like the fucking moon. I'm so white and round. Do you have time to sing a goodbye song before you go? Always bear. I finished the love hypothesis and look, questioning everybody's taste in books right now. No, I'm joking. It was fine. It wasn't terrible. It was okay. Yeah, I just tend to not enjoy these kind of romance books and I I struggle to pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's some of the things I talked about in the last clip. I don't know. Like the ending was cute. And, like it was a cute story and like I could get behind the couple and like I thought they were cute and stuff but I just didn't really feel a lot. It was just a bit meh and I was like... I wasn't getting much of an emotional response. I was sort of just like vibing out. There was a plot twist at the end, so I can't talk about it. It's to do with my prediction at the start with whether he'd been pining for her. So I'm not going to tell you if he had been or not. Yeah, I think I'm giving it a bit three stars. I don't really have much else to add. Like the ending was cute. There was this plot line with her being like sexually harassed by this guy in like the program. And I kind of hated that plot line at the start I didn't really like it I sort of thought mm, like it would have been nice if she just had a plot line where she was successful in her career it would have been nice to see a woman thriving without facing sexism sexual harassment but the author decided to go there and by the end I sort of was a little bit more on board with it I think that reading her author's note as well made me realize that this was something she was like passionate about and cared about she didn't just do it for the sheer like shock value or to create a, a like dramatic plot line which I do appreciate and that did make me be able to process this a little bit better and I did like the way that that plot line was sort of resolved but 
still there are parts of me that were like was that really necessary i don't know but like i've heard a lot of people really appreciate the setting in this story and the experience and it makes me really sad because i'm like do a lot of women experience this kind of treatment in science like that's disgusting like it's 2022 come on because i know there was a lot of talk about the pressures of the academic side and how much it makes you work and work and work and you question yourself and it's a very high intensity environment and you can kind of get lost in that kind of place so i do understand that and that's sort of what i thought but that other aspect was really sad as well like the experience for women in science so yeah there was other stuff going on in this as well which i did appreciate but yeah the romance was mediocre for me i liked the chick but the guy was just boring um i'm happy i read it because i've always wanted to read it i don't think i'm gonna read any more of her books at least at the moment because i've heard they're all like the same thing rehashed and i'm like well I gave those three stars and wasn't really my favorite thing so I'm not going to read any of her books that are out at the moment but I would look into her stuff in the future if she decides to write something a bit different I would maybe give it a try but at the moment I'm not really interested and do I think this is worth the hype? No! I can understand why people would like it but I can't understand why it has the huge success and love that it has when I think there are arguably better romance books out there so I'm sort of like because this is absolutely exploded this is hugely popular like this has gotten so many people into romance that didn't read it before so I do appreciate it for that because I love romance and I want people to read romance so I do like it for that I don't know I feel like there's heaps better romance books out there this was kind of just middle of the range okay pretty forgettable but it's hugely popular so yeah thank you so much for being here let me know in the comments if you've read this book what your thoughts are on it i'd absolutely love to know i'm gonna go now thank you so much for being here i really hope that you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you in another video very soon but until then Goodbye.